Hi, I'm Tom Whitmore, Chester, Virginia. Former member of Virginia Street Vans, I'm the only one left. This is my 1975 Dodge B100. I have had it since 77. My best friend bought it in 75, brand new. We all built it together. And when he decided to go to a four wheel drive, I said, this will be mine. And it has been ever since. Now it's been in a garage for many years. This is its first journey out to a truck in since 1983. 1983 Cumberland Maryland Van Fest was the last truck in that this was at. This is uh, appropriate because this is the first Vanner East Coast Vanner Nationals and she has made her debut again. She's got a 318 engine. She's got hooker headers all the way out to the chrome pipes. Underneath she's got chrome oil pan, transmission pan, sway bars, traction bars, got a Dana 60 chrome and it's a 271 rear. So she's a highway star as far as travel. Now, the paint job was just completed in February. The gentleman that did it, which was New Visions out of Chester, Virginia, he had it for seven to eight months. He took it completely apart. And while the body work was already done from before, he renewed it, refreshed it, and put this beautiful paint job on it. Now, the paint, the pinstriping, the ghost flames, and the bird on the rear, and the wildfire logo on the back were done by the Riddle family. Uh, Danny Riddle is the elder gentleman who does the pinstriping mostly, and his son Jimmy did the ghost flames and the bird, and they did a great job with it. And then Nelson Cunningham at New Visions, of course, completed it with the clear coats and all that kind of stuff. Starting with the front of Wildfire, we have uh, 70 Chevelle marker lights. We have a flare kit. I'm not sure who did the flares. It's been so long ago. The mirrors are off of a 1976 Plymouth Arrow GT. The door handles come off of either a CUDA or Challenger back in the 70s. The, uh, as I said before, the hooker header side pipes are all the way to the engine. We have the two spoke wheels, BF Goodrich Radial TA tires. We have a Gerlich visor. We have the Odyssey wing, and of course the necessary Dodge Charger gas cap. All right, the front end, as you can see again, uh, pinstriping by Danny Riddle. We have a Stoll grill. These are 76 Monte Carlo headlights with halogen bulbs in them now, LED halogens. We've got uh, the Arius fog lights, driving lights from way back when, so that's still there. And like you said, you have the visor, okay? Got the garlic visor on top. Now, so that my wife would not get her legs burned on these wonderful side pipes, I had the pinstriper put hot. So every time she opens the door to step out, she has a reminder. There and so go. far, it's been so good. Well, that's good. Yeah, that, uh, you could definitely leave some skin on them. You know it. You know it. <laughs> on this side, again, we have the same mirrors and the door handles, but we have the hinges have been chromed. The door knobs, of course, removed from the van, smoothed over. And we have the Odyssey wing again, and again, the 70 Chevelle marker lights. Now in the rear, we have the Dodge original one-piece door that still has the window behind the metal. We took the license plate off the door, the door handle. That is a 1976 Dodge pickup truck bumper that took the license plate down there. We have 1970 Chevelle tail lights and chrome hinges, and we have the pinstriping again by Danny Riddle. Yeah, and, the, and the you the can see the uh, Frenched in. Yes, Frenched in tail lights. Nice. Yes, indeed. And there's the bird on the back of Wildfire. All right, and now we'll take a look at the inside of Wildfire. This is the original 1975 interior. Nothing has been changed. The shag carpet is black shag that came from 1975. It has not been touched other than vacuumed. That's it. The original cabinet that we put in, the bed, and you can see all the little wooden dowels and things like that. Shag on the ceiling. Too. Shag on the ceiling. Shag on the floor. It's a shagging wagon. It's a shagging wagon. That's right. You got your speakers down there. Yep. Got two of uh, the big speakers down there. And got four in the front. All right. Here we have the necessary liquor only used for emergencies. And it's never been opened. <laughs> and we have the bar set on the other side. And so that I don't forget what I have, we have Dodge here. And we have our little coach lights so we can go in in the night. And it shows up so we can see where we're going. There you go. Sweet. 
And of course the bar. Of course. <laughs> Got the uh, old mugs from the original truck ends way back when. Oh yeah. Yes indeed. There you go, Van Fest 77. And the other was uh, trucking in the summer at New Jersey. There you go. I'm sure a lot of a lot of vanners remember those. Oh yeah. Hey, if they can if they can. <laughs> good, if they can. That's yeah, right. Good times. And we have the console. It's got the uh, it's got the gauge for the uh, <coughs> spare battery and a clock and I've got lighting. The CB is up there although I'm not using it anymore. I have a connection for my phone up there now. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course you drive in lights and the lights that light up underneath the van, all the controls are all up in there. Nice. All original from now the gauges I changed out, but as far as the console goes, that's all original from the early days. Mm -hmm. Okay, you got the obviously the chrome steering wheel and the chrome we have a chrome steering column. Nope. The brake pedal is also chromed as well as the accelerator pedal. It's all chromed all the way down, including the diesel. Factory air in this? Factory air. Ordered from the factory on the brand new vehicle. It came in November of 1975. Wow. Came with power steering, air conditioning. Now we have added the electric windows and the electric locks. Mm -hmm. And the door handles are off of a Chrysler Imperial, which was a high class car back in its day. Oh, yeah. That's cool. And of course, these you might recognize from the side doors. Mm -hmm. They have been put on to use for the front doors. There you go. And there's again is our chrome column and bezel. Yep, we got the uh, necessary beer tapper shifter. This is a Yingling, which is supposedly one of the oldest breweries in America. So it's kind of appropriate for an old van like this. And my wife sewed the floor mat for me again. It had basically almost come apart, but she was able to kind of salvage that floor mat. I wish I could find new ones like that, but you don't see them anymore. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of a handy thing to have. Yeah, a lot of stuff hard to find. There's a porthole in the engine cover mm -hmm. and it lights up red and you can see the engine through the porthole. And here's Wildfire's back door that we talked about earlier. And here is her interior, our bed. We have a little storage area underneath mm -hmm. and that carries a lot of things, tools, etc. And inside here we have the side lights and we have the ceiling light. That is a black light there. It's not on right now. Oh. There's the fan. Oh, yeah. Just like the good old days. Mm -hmm. uh, that's right. Nice. Well, now, the flying eyeball, uh, Jimmy Riddle did that part. It's part of the airbrushing that he did with the flames and so forth. I wanted that because back in my day, Jimi Hendrix was one of my favorite guys, and the flying eyeball was one of his symbols that he used. Mm -hmm. I know it's been used by a lot of people. But that's kind of why I threw that on there, and I love it. Nice. Now, this beautiful van has a 36-gallon fuel tank underneath. Polyurethane, I believe, is what it's made of. That, over the years of sitting in the garage, had completely messed up. I spent weeks cleaning that thing out so it would work. And finally, it was done completely, and it's been working like a charm ever since. Now, let me start this bad boy up and let you take a listen to her. Wildfire, baby, wildfire. And hey, listen, you people who are thinking about getting vans, you ought to do it because it's the time. We want to live these wonderful days again. We're here at this truck end having a great time. Maybe you guys want to join us, try to get a van and come to see us, man. We're all one big family. Keep on trucking, brother.